Hey guys, what's going on? Megan here. All right, so let's take a look at this poll. Which of these four foods has the most carnitine for maximum androgen receptors, testosterone receptors, uh, muscle growth, and fat loss? Uh, watch my video on carnitine if you haven't. This way I don't have to repeat myself. But uh, quick summary, carnitine is an amino acid that your body makes and that you could also get from foods. So again, I'm not referring to the supplement. I'm talking about carnitine, the natural naturally occurring substance and it has potent effects on again an antioxidant function lowering inflammation increasing strength muscle mass mainly fat loss uh, because your body needs carnitine to oxidize fatty acids to actually shorten them into the mitochondria um, it protects your cells from damage from training helps speed up recovery and obviously through that same pathway um, through that same mechanism, it also increases indirectly your androgen receptors because it stops them from being um, degraded and broken down. So long story short, carnitine is amazing. And as always, you can get most of your carnitine from food. It's actually more bioavailable in food um, than it is in um, shitty ass supplements. But which of these four foods has the most carnitine? Is it chicken? Is it red meat? Is it... <laughs> Is it tofu slash soy or is it eggs? The answer is red meat. So 77% of you motherfuckers have this answer correct, which is rare because a lot of people are just wrong on almost every poll that I put up. Um, but uh, I hope you guys didn't fucking Google this shit, you know, cheating bastards or use chat GPT or some shit. But I should expect a lot more from you guys. You know, this, this, this is something that should be well known. That's one of the many, many reasons why I highly recommend eating red meat almost every day. Um, within limits, of course. Uh, not only are you getting the zinc and the selenium and uh, the B vitamins and, and a little bit of creatine and some carnosine, but you're getting uh, a, a good portion of bioavailable carnitine. So the correct answer is red meat. Let's quickly read the answers. And um, in fact, let me see. Five, eight, yeah, so over 20% of people got this wrong. Wow, that's crazy. But let's read the answers and um, the comments. And hopefully there's no uh, Smeagol comments in here. All right, let's go. I swear Megan put tofu soy just to be able to laugh his ass off at each individual what he gets. Yeah, yeah, because uh, I was like, man, like, <laughs> when I was thinking of the choices, I was like, man, like, let's see, chicken. I'm definitely going to put chicken. You guys know I have, like, a fucking holy crusade against chicken. Um, and I was like, ah, oh, let me put a little trick in so people know I, how much I recommend eggs. So this was the trick uh, choice. And I was like, all right, let me just put four or five them just to troll um but anyway let's go i purposely put wrong answers to listen to this funny ass rants guys it's funny how you guys laugh at the rants but i'm legit getting pissed like the the the, the, the rants are not meant to be funny i, I legitimately get pissed guys because you know i don't script videos i just fucking record and talk that's why my videos go on forever um i just hate seeing those stupid ass comments man those smeagol comments but anyway um so yeah do not put wrong answers just to see just to hear rants. In fact, now that I know that, I'm going to try my best to not rant and to not get pissed. Because now um, it'll be impossible to know if guys are really idiots and went full retard or, or if the comment is just somebody just trying to get a reaction out of me. But you guys are fucked up for this, by the way. Um, tofu. <laughs> tofu is just too goaded, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Megan, I noticed something on my mindset and testosterone. Usually around midterm finals, I get super stressed and get bit. <laughs> and get bit as hell. Dude, I love, I love honest people, man. Like, uh, the fact that you could admit that. Uh, this midterm, wor this midterm's worst issue is spot on top of my mindset change. I noticed I feel off as fuck. I just don't give a shit. I'm focused on getting things done. So the swab, da 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 da. Um, Oh, uh, yeah. But, yeah, yeah. I mean, if, if stress goes up, your androgen status is going to go down and your mindset is going to change, you know? Um, that's why I always tell you guys, it's not all about testosterone. You could have high testosterone, but if your cortisol goes through the roof, not only that's going to eventually lower your testosterone, but even if it doesn't lower your testosterone, because it takes a while, um, it's going to block a lot of the effects of testosterone. You know, tons of studies on this where you, you could increase testosterone, but if you inject a person with cortisol or you create a scenario that... Um, quickly increases their testosterone, I mean, their, their cortisol, you actually block a lot of the effects of testosterone while testosterone is still elevated. It's crazy. That's why I always say lower stress, lower stress, lower stress. Now, you don't want stress to be too low, right? Because once again, you know what I'm about to say, inverted U-curve, right? You don't want anything to be too low or too high. 
if stress is too low, then you're not gonna do shit. You're gonna have zero motivation because um, we need stress to to live. We need stress to conquer life. We need stress to get out of bed. We need stress to have some forms of energy. Um, but long story short, you just don't want your testosterone and cortisol ratio to be fucked up. Uh, but yeah, yeah. So always look for ways to lower stress. You know, the only kind of stress you want is good stress, right? Acute stress, like the gym, sprinting, lifting weights. Uh, well, that's the gym. Um, you know, competing. You know, um, taking a risk that's gonna have a good payoff, but it's actually safe. You know, uh, those kinds of stresses are actually good. Cold showers. Anyway, one black. <laughs> One black of tofu is greater than a thousand milligrams of tests. You guys are fucking trolls. Megan, I eat 30 ounces of tofu a day. <laughs> Megan, I eat 30 ounces of tofu a day and play Fortnite all night, and I can still always be a dumb truck. Those natty genetics, though. Um, Megan, you got to make a video about CMOS. Is the high rail? Fine, I'm going to video about it. Uh, we're making those tofu gains tonight, lads. Um... How does ground turkey fit into this? Ground turkey, if you, if you notice, I never put it in my top five. You know, it's because, again, obviously it has some nutrients, but I'm all about how many birds can you hit with one stone, right? I'm, I always recommend foods that have the biggest bang for your buck, the biggest return on investment, you know? Because, um, you know, you guys know I love the Pareto Principle, right? 80% um, of your results usually come from 20% of your efforts. That applies to almost everything. So you want the foods that give you 80, you want the 20% of foods that give you 80% of the nutrients. And turkey does not make it into the top five, right? So it's not on the starting lineup, it's on the bench. Um, red meat is Spanish carne, so I took my best. Small guy, small guy. Um, does uh, soy lettuce in? Okay, the, the research behind that is actually conflicting, but because it's conflicting, that's why I avoid soy like the fucking plague. I could show you some studies that show that soy does not affect testosterone negatively, but I could also show you some studies that show the opposite. So it depends on the methodology, uh, depends on how you see the population study, the sample size. Um, but what's very consistent is that soy products, which do not com do not confuse soy with just soy lecithin, right? Like again, I, I explained in a different video. But one thing that's um, that has a lot of evidence is that eating soy does negatively affect your testosterone to estrogen ratio to be specific your testosterone to e2 estradiol that's very very consistent so even the studies that show that soy does not decrease testosterone some of these studies show that it does fuck up your t to e2 ratio which why would you know you don't want to fuck with that um not to mention there's some studies that show that um whey protein is way better than soy at boosting testosterone from training or from different activities. But anyway, again, I, I, I don't want to go off topic. If you want, I can make videos on soy. But to me, it's best to avoid it, right? I don't want anything that has conflicting evidence as far as affecting my T levels, right? It's bad enough we're surrounded by plastics and nutrient deficiencies and a shitty soil that's void of minerals. And yeah, the last thing you want is to add another substance that might or might not fuck up your T levels. Tofu is the most anabolic food ever. Um, I voted eggs, but I think it's meat, beef, carnitine, duh, Spanish carnitine. There you go. Smart fuckers, right? Just like carnitine, right? Um, uh, steak cooked three ounces. Yep, yep. There you go. Yep, the numbers vary, but as you can clearly see, you know, steak is at the top. Um, my mom had told me, my mom told me I have to get up and throw the lunch in the fridge. I can cook it later. Mom is awesome. She lets me cut me. Pause. Um, but yeah, that's that's good that your mom is letting you eat red meat. Um, red meat is always superior. That's right. Lots of protein, saturated fat, fat, soluble vitamins. Let's go. You know, somebody did his research. Um, tofu, because plant protein is the highest quality protein. It's easy to digest. Plant protein is the high in antioxidants. Blah, 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 blah. It'll make you bloated. Oh, man. Uh, hold on. Let's see. If you saw me in person, you go wild. I got <laughs> he's a soy boy. Oh man! If you're not eating tofu on the daily, what the fuck are you doing? You guys are gonna like confuse a lot of teenagers who're gonna read this and think that oh god, you know they're they're serious. Beef because it is red, like the blood of our enemies. Um, savage who needs beef when you could inject and snort tofu? <laughs> oh shit! I think lettuce is the answer. Um, TDC da 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 da. I would like a serious discussion about soy. Sure, sure. Yep, there's a lot of conflicting answers, but like I said, just avoid it. Avoid it. Um, because, anyway, I would explain it earlier. 
uh, one guy somewhere saying something. Yep, I guarantee you there's going to be a guy in the comments somewhere saying supplements, supplements. Uh, it's got to be eggs. Uh, <laughs> why not supplement? There you go. There you go. <laughs> well, actually, he wrote that after this, so he probably wrote this because he saw that. Um, I inject 500 milligrams of carnitine a day, but I don't take steroids. Am I 90, dude? Why? <sighs> Man. Uh, I'm going to make a video about this injecting carnitine shit. Um, anyway, tofu is more androgenic than Tran. <laughs> Pe <laughs> peaches. Real men eat tofu and wear rainbows. I don't know. It doesn't matter. You don't matter. Fuck off. Uh, Ag natural tea booster. Which one of you both? <laughs> Which one of you both was clicked on tofu? Definitely sorry, bro. I saw the way people. <laughs> people are gonna be surprised. The real answer is tofu. Um, I know red meat is the answer, but I'm choosing soy because I'm a soy boy for life. Asked about far the best. If you think that's uh, all right. So, well, yeah, this one was an uneventful poll. Most people know the answer was red meat. Uh, so that gives me hope. But anyway, time for the next video. Make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe, all that good shit. Boostiago, join the Discord and the Reddit. Buy the book, support the channel. You already know what to do. All right, I'm out. All right, guys, don't forget to like or share the video, subscribe and hit the bell, and buy my HSP Nucleus of a Low Training Program. It's the ultimate program for maximum muscle growth. It includes full body workouts, splits, bro splits, push pull, home workouts, you name it. Also comes with a complete guide for macros, nutrition, fat loss, muscle growth, hormones, including a meal plan. It's pretty much all my 16 years of experience condensed into one fucking book. You're also going to get free copies of any future edition. So visit team3dalpha.com and you can use the 40% off coupon code Nucleus of Lord. Or you could just buy the shit at full price. All right, guys, I'm out of here.